Hello, I'm going to be talking about type checking fetch requests over the network because you don't know what this can return, especially if it's a foreign server. Like in our case, we're using, we're doing federation, meaning our server requests another server also running Jibber and requests posts. So if you look at this, we're requesting Monroe programs 2 on localhost 3000 and then actually fetching to that server and that server should return posts but let's say it's malicious and it doesn't return valid input then we want to actually type check that and make sure it's it's validated data so to do that we fetch it and then we get the json and this is an unknown because we don't use any because unknown gives us additional checks like you can't call json dot um like test on it that will give you a type error because it's a type of unknown and unlike with any if you do that so i've created this function called parse post and that goes through and actually parses all the posts from the json validating it and the way we're able to do that is through using zod and so zod basically validates input that you give it so in this case we know we want to parse post from the input that we're given and to do that, we can actually use this NPM uh, module called Zod Prisma Types. And what it does is it generates Zod types, which is basically a way for you to validate input. Like you give it, create a schema. So in this case, we create a Zod array, meaning the input we have to give it will have to be an array. And then it must contain an object that is has a property called object two because that is what is on the API that's returned. Here you can see that it returns a list of activities that contain this object and this object is of type post. So that's what we're checking here. The Zod Prisma types will generate all of these Zod types from your Prisma schema and then you can import it. So in this case we import posts with relation schema because each post will have attachments and profiles and all that sort of stuff, reblogs and so on. So we're also type checking all of these things too. And then we basically generate the schema. We call the post activity dot parse on that JSON that we're given. If it's not valid, it will throw an error. If it is valid, that means we know we have type of posts. So we loop through the activities, get the post off the object and then typecast it as a post returning all of those. So the key part here is really the Zod Prisma types that automatically generate all the types for your Prisma schema. Then since we know that we have a, an array of posts, we can just return it in our TRPC route, getting a list of remote posts like you can see here. So all these are fetched over the network and then type checked. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.